up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with a remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning, students. Hello, students. We'll be doing maths to class 10th. The topic which we'll be doing today is similarity. In that, we'll be doing basic proportionality theorem. Let us revise what we have done. We did four properties related to the ratio of areas of two triangles, which you can see on the screen. When we did this practice set 1.1, I have said you to remember sum number 4 which will be using in basic proportionality theorem. So that is the sum over here. You need to remember the property which we have used and if you remember the two triangles have same base and they lie between two parallel lines. Today we will be doing basic proportionality theorem which is also called as Thales theorem. It is named after the Greek mathematician who proved this theorem, Mr. Thales. Now let us prove this basic proportionality theorem. You can see the statement of this theorem states as if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle and intersects the other two sides in two distinct points then the line divides the two sides of a sides in the same ratio for that we need to first draw a triangle let us draw a triangle ABC we need to draw a line parallel to one of the side of this triangle. We can draw parallel to any one of the side of triangle ABC. Let us draw PQ parallel to side BC. Now seeing this diagram, we will write down our given. So given, the first given in this theorem is line PQ intersects sides AB and AC in points P and Q respectively. Second is PQ parallel to side BC. As you already know from where it starts if till then is your given. After then what is there is your two proof in the statement. So after then it is line divides the two sides in the same ratio. So what we need to prove is this line PQ divides side AB and AC in the same ratio. So the ratio is AP upon PB equals to AQ upon QC that is our two proof. Prove this to proof. Let us take the help of these three celebrities. The first one, Katrina. Second, right, the Pika. Third, Alia. How they are going to help us in proving this theorem? Let us first understand why they are here weight of Katrina is equals to the weight of the Pika. This is one statement which will be helping us to prove our two proof basic proportionality theorem. Weight of the Pika is equals to the weight of Alia. Remember these two statements. And I'm giving you the weight of the Pika which is 55 kg. So can you tell me what would be the weight of 
Katrina and Alia. Yes, you are right. They both are fifty-five kg each. This was asked. This is one of the property in mathematics which is called as transitivity. If one is equals to two, two is equals to three, then one is equals to three. So in this example, if you see, weight of Katrina is equals to weight of Deepika. Weight of Deepika is equals to weight of Alia. So I know the weight of Deepika. As fifty-five, so the weight of Alia and Katrina will also be fifty-five. We'll be using this in proving our theorem. Now let us come to our theorem, basic proportionality theorem. We have already seen what is given in to prove of this theorem. Now let us see how we'll be using this property of transitivity to prove this theorem. I need to prove a p upon p b equals to a q upon q c. Let us consider them as two ratios. First, a p upon p b as ratio one, and a q upon q c as ratio three. So I can prove this one equals to three if I can prove one equals to two. And two equals to three. So as I said, A P upon P B is ratio one. A Q upon Q C is ratio three. I can prove one equals to three if A P upon P B is equals to x upon y and x upon y is equals to A Q upon Q C. I'll get our two proof. A P upon P B equals to A Q upon Q C. Now we need to think what would be x upon y. Think what what are the possibilities for the ratio x upon y. For that we need to recollect what we have done in this chapter. If you remember, we have done these properties related to the ratio of areas of two triangles. Out of these three, which you can see on the screen, we'll be using to our theorem. Now you have to tell me which property we'll be using out of these three. For that, you need to think what is A P and P B can be. What A Q and Q C can be? Can it be? B one into H one upon B two into H two, or can it be B one upon B two, or it can be H one upon H two? But this gives you one idea that X upon Y, we know now it is A one upon A two. That means it is related to ratio of areas of two triangles. Now I know what is X upon Y. I need to find out. Which property the sum is related? Yes, you are right. The property which we'll be using is a one upon a two is equals to b one upon b two. That means a p and p b, a q and q c. They are the base of some triangles. Let us see in the diagram for which triangle they can be the base. If you see in the diagram for triangle APQ, I can take AP as the base, and for triangle BPQ, I can take BP as the base. Same way, for triangle APQ, I can also take AQ as the base, and for triangle CPQ, I can take QC as the base. So now I know area of triangle APQ upon area of triangle PBQ is equals to AP upon PB, and area of triangle APQ upon area of triangle CPQ is equals to AQ upon QC. Now, if you see, we have got these two ratios: ratio number one, which is AP upon PB; ratio number two, three, sorry, that is AQ upon QC. As I said, they should be equals to ratio two 
that means 1 equals to 2 2 equals to 3 then 1 will be equals to 3 but if you observe AP upon PB is equals to a area of triangle APQ upon area of triangle PPQ and AQ upon QC is equals to area of triangle APQ upon area of triangle CPQ if you see both of them the denominators are not equal the denominator is area of triangle BPQ and here the denominator is area of triangle CPQ we need to think on this Now you must be wondering how AP and PB can be the base of triangle. If you remember I have already said you before we can take any one side of a triangle as the base. To make you understand that was you can see in this slide if I turn the triangle now you can see for triangle APQ AP is the base and for triangle PBQ PB is the base same way if I turn the triangle APQ to the right side with AQ as the base and for triangle PQC CQ as the base so now you can clearly see both the triangles have their base on the same line and have their common vertex for triangle APQ and triangle BPQ, Q is the common vertex and for triangle APQ and triangle PQC, P is the common base, common vertex, sorry. So they two, these two pairs of triangles will have common heights. That is why we have to use the property A1 upon A2 is equals to B1 upon B2. Now let us understand our two proof using these steps. The last step which we need to prove is AP upon PB is equals to AQ upon QC. To prove these we need to prove first AQ upon QC equals to area of triangle APQ upon area of triangle CPQ. Second, we need to prove area of triangle APQ upon area of triangle PBQ is equals to AP upon PB. And to prove them, I should prove raise their right hand side equal. That is area of triangle APQ upon area of triangle CPQ equals to area of triangle APQ upon area of triangle PBQ. So now from these steps we know what actually we need to prove. Our two proof is AP upon PB equals to AQ upon QC. So what actually I should prove is area of triangle APQ upon area of triangle CPQ equals to area of triangle APQ upon area of triangle BPQ. And for that what I need to prove is their denominators if you see the both the ratios numerators are already same we need to prove their denominators equal that is area of triangle CPQ equals to area of triangle BPQ so to prove area of triangle CPQ equals to area of triangle BPQ will be using the sum which I have said you before sum number 4 of practice set 1.1 there we have used this property A1 upon A2 is equals to 1 upon 1 now we will be using the same property to solve this sum this theorem to prove area of triangle CPQ equals to area of triangle BPQ so now the two triangles 
सी पी क्यू एंड बी पी क्यू लाइज बिटवीन दीज टू पैरल लाइन दैट इज पी क्यू एंड बी सी विच इज ऑलरेडी गिवन दैट मीन्स दे हैव कॉमन बेस एंड लाइज बिटवीन टू पैरल लाइन देर फोर देयर हाइट्स आर इक्वल देर फोर एरिया ऑफ दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स आर इक्वल so this is how we are going to prove basic proportionality theorem the statement of the theorem we have already seen given to prove we have already seen now let us prove it this is the proof we have already seen in the diagram the two triangle apq and pbq have equal heights so we'll be using that property a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 using that we have got area of triangle apb apq upon area of triangle pqb equals to ap upon pb same way we have got aq upon qc we already proved before since the two triangles pqb and pqc lies between two parallel lines so they have equal heights and they have common base so their areas are equal that proves right hand side of equation 1 and 2 are equal therefore left hand side of both the equations are equal therefore ap upon pb is equals to aq upon qc and that is our two proof